Can ChatGPT search the internet? The answer is yes, but with some nuances. Okay, ChatGPT has the ability to browse the internet in real time using a feature called Browse with Bing. And it basically helps ChatGPT retrieve up-to-date information about various topics. For example, if you ask about today's weather or ask about today's news. Now, the key disadvantage is it uses Microsoft Bing. It's not Google, so the results can be a little bit worse than using Google directly. Another downside, it's not available through the API yet. So if you are looking to integrate ChatGPT in your product or application, it does not have access to the internet. You'll need to use another tool for that. The good news is this feature is available to both free and paid users, and it works automatically behind the scenes. So when you ask ChatGPT a question, it automatically decides, should I search the internet to answer this question effectively? You don't have to do anything else, so there are no extra steps required. However, you can also instruct ChatGPT explicitly by saying, saying search the internet. And actually that's something I like to append to all my prompts. Remember, you can search the internet to retrieve up-to-date information. So first go ahead and open ChatGPT and make sure you have GPT 4.0 selected. This is important because the O1 series, O1 Preview and O1 Mini, currently as of September 2024, do not have access to the internet. What I wanna do is illustrate the difference between no internet access and internet access. So you can see very clearly the difference in the quality of answers. So here in ChatGPT, I'm going to ask, who is Sabrina Romanoff? Okay, click enter. ChatGPT responds, it seems like Sabrina is a fictional character. There is no well-known figure by that name in current media or history. Now what I'm going to do is submit the exact same prompt, except I'm going to say search the internet. Now it's searching the web. You can see the steps it's taking here. Right, it searched Sabrina Romanov at bing.com. It found my newsletter, sabrina.dev. It found my YouTube channel. It found my bio, which is hosted on my newsletter. Okay, now it replied, like I'm no longer a fictional character. And it's pulling most of this, by the way, just from my blog. So this is a really great illustration of the difference between no internet access up here, in which case it's using the knowledge it has up to a certain date in time, which is called the knowledge cutoff. I believe for 4.0, the knowledge cutoff was at some point in 2023, well before I started creating content and putting myself out there publicly. And now here, when I say who is Sabrina Romanov, search the internet, ChatGPT is using browse with Bing, hence bing.com, it searched my name, and then it found all of these relevant sources, analyzed these sources, and then answered my question, who is Sabrina Romanov? And now we can illustrate the same thing, but with tech news. So let's say, what is Apple intelligence, which is new announcements from Apple. And this is a pretty good response of Apple's current integration of AI. But what we're really referring to is the recent announcements from Apple about Apple intelligence in the new suite. So here, now we said Apple, it is Apple intelligence, search the internet. It's a suite of AI powered features debuting with iOS 18, meaning it's not even out yet. Um, this system combines generative AI models with personal context, cross app functionality for Siri, chat GPT direct integrated into the system and full integration is expected to roll out in late 2024 and into 2025. So again, compare this answer, which searched the internet in real time using browse with Bing. Okay. Compared to the previous answer, what is Apple intelligence? So if you knew nothing about Apple intelligence, but you kind of heard about people talking about it and you went to chat GPT and asked about it, you might've gotten an answer like this and not realized that it's not really the correct answer for your question. Um, this is one reason why I like to add to the end of every prompt, remember to search the internet for up-to-date information because the quality of the answer is completely different, especially if you are referring to recent topics, recent news. One of my favorite features of searching the internet is that it tells you exactly what the websites are. So if you wanna learn more, you can just go ahead and click the link and it'll take you to the article where it's sourced this information. The main thing here to be aware of and stay aware of is this little indication, searched X number of sites. If you see this, that means ChatGPT is searching the internet through browse with Bing. Okay, but if you don't see that, like up here, right? That means ChatGPT is not searching the internet. It's using its knowledge up to its knowledge cutoff for that particular model. So you can see how real-time internet access makes a huge difference in the quality of answers you get, especially when your queries, your prompts are referring to things that are more recent and beyond the dates of the model's knowledge cutoff.